Let's take a look at checkboxes. Using Firebug, click on the first checkbox. We can see we have the usual ID, class, name and value attributes in there. We'll start off with the ID which is the simplest. Let's create a variable to store this checkbox. Driver dot find element by ID and paste in the ID. With this we can then simply click the checkbox. Let's add an assert to ensure that it has been selected. And run this test from the test view. Refresh and run this. OK, we can see the first option of the peripherals has been selected. The checkboxes are very similar to the way radio buttons work, so rather than repeat the same test again, we'll try something different this time. We'll loop through the checkboxes and clear them out if they've been checked. So the first thing we need is the collection of checkboxes and store them in a variable and use driver.findElements by name and copy the name from here and paste it in. Let's add a for each loop to loop through the checkboxes. We'll check if each checkbox has been selected and then we will unselect it by clicking it. I'll place a breakpoint over here before the for each loop and debug this test. OK, we can see that we've entered the for loop and the web page is showing the first checkbox has been ticked. Continue with the test. And there, it's been unchecked. Finally, just finish off the test.